All right, so just a real a recap on a lot of the crap I've been talking about since I've been in here. First day I came in here, if, I, if my memory corrects me, I talked about a designer. I talked about graphic design, but I, I feel like the designer, that's me right there. I feel like the designer is like the new athlete because we could do so many things. So I could really decimate my, 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 my competition because I could do video. I could do my own collateral, right? I could do my own posters. I could do animations. I can do photography. I could do all of that stuff, marketing, teaching. Another thing I started getting into heavy was I started getting heavy into personal branding. The reason why the whole reason behind the personal branding is the story, the person behind the product. The, the, the person behind the post. I was almost using the term digital currency. It's your platform, whatever. I don't care how you do it. You wanna just write articles all freaking day. If you wanna just record your hands pointing at a whiteboard, I don't care how you do it or whatever you get it. If you're camera shy, I don't care. I kinda of gave some different options on that. And then I kinda of gave some strategies on that story too. I talked about the hook. I talked about the story and I talked about the offer. We already know what the offer is. The hook is hooking somebody in with a tagline. It's hooking somebody in. It's basically clickbait. You see a line, you're interested in it, you're gonna click on it, whatever you're searching for. I talked a lot about the competition. I talked a lot about what the things I'm looking at, what are they doing, right? How often are they posting? So basically what you're doing is you're looking for somebody who has the secret sauce already you taking a formula and you just putting your content in there. So if he posts a certain way, I'm posting the same way, but I'm just gonna talk about my brand. I talk about Gary Vee all the time and I talked about I use his content model and I just stuck all my crap in there. I don't know, for some reason, I'm super interested in the brain and how the brain work. So I'm kind of thinking about like mindset and mindset kind of go into some of this stuff. So I can't just show you Photoshop without kind of getting into like behavior patterns and habits and stuff like that. So when, I, when I'm talking about habits, I'm talking about like getting used to taking notes, getting used to getting up a little bit early, getting used to reading something ain't nobody gave me to read. Let me look this up. Let me see what the heck is going on. Eventually, just to say, we do all of this and then we get somebody from the Cavs or from the Browns or somebody to come down and give you a shout out, you know, shout out your table, shout out your product or whatever, and now you go viral. So now you got thousands of people hitting you up for that bracelet or whatever. Are you ready to do, what's the next stages if you go viral? Am I ready to, you know, have something for investors to look like, well, I need an investor to come in because now I need capital. Do I even know about how to raise capital? What does that look like? What does the negotiation look like for collaboration, right? I'm having phone calls all the, day, all, all the time. Y'all just really a click away from really having somebody come in and tap in and want to invest in what you got. But if you just come in and say, well, I don't know what my vision is. I ain't wrote it down and I don't know how much product I need. If you don't know all of that, then you not, may not be really ready to expand and grow. So how does, this, how does this work? If I have a conversation, let's just say somebody cool that's got some clout come to that table. What's the next stage on the conversation? Like, can I really shadow somebody? Can I come and be an intern? Because it's really like, you gotta learn the business part of it if you wanna scale. All this stuff, like if I wanted to say, all this is about scale, all this is building capacity, all this is building a team and make sure you got a team around you and talk about that team and talk about what y'all doing. Like if you're interested in something, then look that up because you never know how deep the rabbit hole goes. So you got something called the whale, the spark, and the way. So you know what a whale is, right? So a whale is something that you put water in. So the more information, the more you study, the more you looking up stuff, the deeper your whale is. The deeper that is, and then you have a spark. So you really can't have a spark of an idea to go to a next level or raise it up some more notches if you're not bringing in no information. That makes sense? And then the way is just the execution. So it's almost like me going in that kitchen and if it ain't no, a lot of stuff in there, I can't make nothing. So the, the more ingredients I have, the more I can make, the more I'm gonna have ideas, right? It's gonna lead to, you saw all those books I showed you, because I looked at one book and then he made, talked about another book 
And then I'm looking up somebody else and now that leads to another book. Now I got a whole bunch of books that I could reference and that I could look at. Even if I just go skim through a couple of them, it's giving me insight. This is the number one rule to success. If you really want to be successful, y'all got to read. That's just period, point blank. Not the books that they're giving you. You got to read books. If I'm having an issue with how I'm thinking, personal development, if I need, gotta need help with organizing, if I'm following a dude that's giving me the apps to stay organized and on top of my game, it's no excuse. So you shouldn't be missing no events, missing nothing at the house. Why you ain't clean up? Why you ain't take the trash out off of God? I don't even know. You got a super computer in your pocket. Y'all should be on point on everything. Taking notes. Am I using my phone to my best ability to keep me proactive? That makes sense? This is how you're going to get ideas because you're going to be inspired to really do this stuff, right? So another attribute of being a successful person is getting up extra early. So you're getting up extra early and you taking notes and you drafting out your vision on where I want to be at and write that out so you can see it. If you can't see it, you're just kind of drifting, right? You got a drifter and then you got something that's right on point. You just can't take a boat and just stick it in the water and think it's going to get to Europe. It's not. Like you got to know where Europe is at. You got to know and, and make your, you know, your sail make you get to Europe. It's like, it's no straight line to success. You're going to zigzag your way to the target. So stuff gonna be going wrong. You're gonna be, this is gonna be happening. You, if you shoot a torpedo at a target, it's got a rudder in the back. The rudder is changing because it's changing its direction, just like you zigzag into the target, right? So the thing is, what it's doing is, every time it make a mistake, it, it corrects it. That's how the, the, the radar gets it to the target. That makes sense? So that's kind of how you're doing. You're kind of zigzagging your way to your success, to your target. I didn't go to school to teach. I had to teach myself how to teach for the most part. I got to do public speaking. Like public speaking is part of being, is part of the successful model, right? So I talked about reading. I talked about getting up early. You got to be able to articulate your vision. So that's the whole thing behind the pitch and all of that stuff. I got a major guy coming to that table. If you're just sitting there like, um, uh, um, um, you may miss out on some millions. So if, it's, if you really want to crush this stuff, y'all got to really work on it. Y'all the next in line to change the world on how y'all want it. And it's powerful in that. Y'all just got to know how powerful y'all are. Really use your platform to really make a stand and really, you know, change how stuff is. So designing is just re basically problem solving. You're solving a problem. So that's why Uber was able to beat out the cabs because they solved the problem. Airbnb beat out the hotels and stuff like that. So it's still ideas that need to become, still ideas and stuff that need to be changed and y'all gonna do it. I'm just kind of like really trying to get y'all to think and really kind of show y'all how I operate. And I'm just always looking for something. I'm always looking for the next thing because stuff is just popping off so fast. Technology is gonna help y'all you know, it's not going to change, right? So y'all just got to get on it. And the more you know, the more valuable you are. If you don't know nothing, they're not going to pay you. The market is, is, is only going to celebrate the ones who bring the most value. If all you could do is flip burgers, they're not going to pay you a lot. If you know how to build a building or build a business, then they're going to pay you for that. That's kind of the thing is, too. It's like the, 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 part, the personal brand part comes because you're unique. Everybody got their own fingerprint. We all unique. We all got a way about ourselves and we need to be celebrating. We need our roses now. You know, all right, so we had a lot of political unrest, right? We got COVID. Um, I'm basically learning from the house or maybe just the school system, period. When I'm learning, ain't really helping me out. It's really not teaching me financial literacy. It's not teaching me business literacy. It's not really helping me as a, pro so what system can I come up to fix this, right? So when I'm sitting amongst my dudes, you know, we talking about these ideas, we're talking about like, you know, this would be a dope app that can help our generation speak and it's our own platform or let me start a podcast and now I got all my homies on this podcast and now we making some noise about this community of me and my brothers and this is how we feel and this is what we need to see, right? So then we knocking on some doors and having some conversations and now we changing policy on how they do something based off of what we did. That makes sense? So I can come up with some posters that got a really meaning or some t-shirts that I got and stand somewhere with the t-shirts and now we changing policy on how we doing something.
You see it now? Make sense now? That's, that's, that's the change, bro. It's like, like you know, how can, I, how can I solve a problem for somebody? When you think about the product, you got to think about the user. You got to think about the person behind who you're selling to. They want you to solve a problem. You want me to solve a problem for you. You want me to put in design and marketing in a quick little way that I could give it to you, and then you set up your store and make some money. Boom, that easy. I ain't got to write nothing down. Jay just gave me the app. I just go through it. Boom, 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 boom. Y'all just got to know the power y'all got. The thing is, like, kind of school turn y'all into mediocre, turn y'all into robots. It kind of take you, it just turn you into a person, just take orders. We trying to get you, turn you into a change agent. Like, I'm a change agent. It just come, like, I got to have confidence in myself at some point. Like, look, this is what I'm about to do. This is what we about to do. You know what I'm saying? We ain't going to be playing no games. We're going to get this business going. Or my man got an idea on something, even if it is gaming. Like, if y'all crushing y'all a good gaming unit, like, how can we turn this into some revenue? How can I turn whatever I love doing into some money? It's a little scary, right? Because somebody might call you and come to talk. They're going to stick some cameras in your face. Or I'm appointed a leader and I got some other people that's underneath me. So the personal brand is really showcasing my intellect so when somebody do see it, because people are looking for stories all the time, right? So it's like, let's get this girl in the news and talk about her market day stuff. The news pop up to market day, if you're not ready, you know, that, that's what the whole YouTube channel, the whole, you know, film of myself, that's the whole really prepping you. It's really, it's really prepping you so when a camera, when a real camera pop on you, you'll be ready to kick it off. Here's my vision, here's my plan, this is what's going on, this is what I feel, this is what my community, this is my, what my young entrepreneurs should be doing. Hit me up, let's talk, let's jump on Clubhouse. I'm gonna start a Clubhouse and you know have a young entrepreneur Clubhouse talk. Let me start this Facebook group. I'm gonna have a Facebook group to come in and get some ideas, share your work, share your stories, you know, and I'm gonna monetize that, right? So after the, after the clubhouse, I got, a, I got a lot of people coming into this clubhouse or this Facebook group, then eventually when I drop a product or I drop something, I already got a community that's already on board with me in my vision. So we're gonna monetize any moves further down the road. So like Tori was talking about, you done market day, you done this, you done that. I instantly start thinking about training and stuff like that, like teaching some other kids how to how to do that stuff. That's it, your man Jay working, Teen Enterprise, four week pilot program with my man Tori Coates, Teen Enterprise. They got a market day. Bunch of entrepreneurs came in and I just gave them some marketing, gave them some design tips and tricks and really trying to help them elevate their game and elevate what they're doing. Um, hopefully I'm going to pop into some market day. They're selling different products. Some of them got websites, some of them don't. So some of them kind of got a little bit of everything. So I just wanted to come in and help my man Tori, help them, you know, help these kids and do, do what they need to do. Man, that's what's up. Your man Jay Work is signing off. What you got? You got something for me? I got a gift. Oh, snap. This from, this from you? Thank you. Oh, man. I got a card in there, too. Y'all about to have me tearing up in here. Boom. That's what's up.